Gentlemen, please welcome back to the program rock and roll legend Pete Townsend. Pete! I don't know why I'm not playing a song from my new album. Do we care? Since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all. I've never seen anything like him in any amusement hall. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean ball. He stands like a statue, becomes a part of the machine. Feeling all about purse, always playing clean. He plays by intuition, the digit counters fall. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. He's a pinball wizard, has to be a twist. A pinball wizard got such a good pull in his ears. How do you think he does it, boy? I don't know. What makes him so good? He ain't got no distractions, can't hear no buzzes and bells. Don't see lights and flashing, plays by such a smell. Always gets a replay, never tilts at all. That deaf to a blind kid, sure plays a mean pinball. Mr. Townsend, that will be deducted from your fee tonight. <laughs> How did that begin, you busting up stuff? You know, I, w uh, I wanted to, to uh, play the clarinet. <laughs> and, uh, my father was a clarinet player, and, he, and, and uh, he, when I was about eight, he let me play the instrument. And, and I couldn't get a sound out of it. And I, he, he said, well, maybe you could try the, the instrument that I started on, which was the guitar. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, well, that would be good, and waited a few years. And, and uh, when I was 11, Christmas came. And my father was a good musician, and I expected him to buy me a, a fine instrument. And, but my grandmother, who was, uh, you know, it's to put, a little, put it politely, because she is my beloved, beloved grandmother, who brought me up and looked after me when I was young. She was clinically insane. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's almost flattering yeah, when you we, put it that way. <laughs> we didn't ever get her to a clinic, unfortunately. But, um, and uh, 
it was elected that she would buy me my first guitar. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, well, it was, except yeah. she bought me one of those things that you hang on the wall of the Italian restaurant. <laughs> And I took a, it to my... A, a big, more, no, no, more no, ornamental... No, no, yeah, that's right. Kind of a cheap, scraggy guitar with the strings about that far. And it was kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... We're going to sell this for charity. <laughs> yes. We will. Um, it's worth more broken than yeah. it is in one. It's true. So Grandma gives you the old, cheap Italian yeah, wall-hanging yeah, guitar. And eventually, eventually... Uh, my father kept saying, well, when you can get a tune out of this, I'll buy you a good mm -hmm. one. So I thought the best thing to do was maybe to have an accident <laughs> <laughs> with the guitar. Yeah. And that's how it started. So you busted up your very first guitar that Grandma Yeah, yeah and I, you know, she, she was clinically insane, and it's kind of been the one ribbon that's run continually through my life. <laughs> and also, I understand, well, I think we have evidence of it here, uh, this is protection because of a recent injury. You know, on the 89 Hoot Tour, I speared myself. You know I did this windowing Yeah, you thing. did it here, as a matter of fact, not long That's ago. That's right, I did yeah. it here, yeah. yeah. it's very exciting, very dramatic to see. See, it's a dramatic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, uh, I was using a guitar that was... Uh, actually created for Eric Clapton and he you know he has this thing it's called a whammy bar mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> I speared my hand on the whammy bar and it went in through the hand and out the other side oh oh and I picked up the guitar and it was hanging oh in my hand. oh man oh. you're you're making us all sick <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what the heck happens? What, uh, how, what does that do you know, to the show? I was, I was lucky. It, 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 uh, it, it bled a lot, but yeah. it was... It was it but was... you can't finish up the show like that with your guitar hanging out of your hand, can you? <laughs> no, I slipped it off. <laughs> I slipped... <laughs> bled a lot. Yeah. And uh, luckily, we're, we're, I think the accident happened in uh, Seattle. And there was a brilliant hand surgeon there. And, and I was lucky not to hit anything, and he cleaned it up. You know, I was supposed to be, later on, I was supposed to go and be on Larry's show. But it's cancelled. <laughs> President Clinton needs something. He needs television for something. And he's cancelled me. You would have never injured yourself had you stuck with the clarinet. No, that's right. I, I'm going for oh, me. my God. Oh, maybe. What am I saying? Maybe even much, much worse. Uh, we have to pause here for another commercial. We'll be right back with Pete Townsend. The uh, new album is uh, Psycho Derelict. Pete, good to see you. Congratulations on uh, all the success and, and a great career. And do us a favor, come and see us at the new place. Thank you. Have Hello. a very nice summer. Pete Good. Townsend. Good that is Good. Thank you. My, uh, my thanks also to uh, Larry King, who was here earlier. And uh, I'm sorry, Cindy Crawford will not be here tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. She got a look at Herb and said, that's it, I'm getting a cab. Uh, we'll have Cindy on just as soon as we possibly can next week or never. <laughs> We, we have five more. Good night, everybody.